What's up guys, welcome to Blake's Garage. Today we are gonna be working on the 2017 Audi S3. And we're gonna be replacing something that, well, is pretty much always neglected. If you can see, there's a little bit of wind out, that beard's just blowing in the wind. Um, pollen has been crazy. There's one of those air filters in everybody's car. Well, pretty much everybody's car, unless, you know, you're drive something older, like in the 80s or whatever. But like 90s, 2000s cars, they have these. So we're gonna go ahead and rip into the Audi. All right, guys, look at that. Would you just look at it? So, what is this thing? It's a freaking cabin air filter. All right, guys, so they're really easy to install. You know, you just first, you take out your sock monkey. You gotta get that out of the way. Your OBD-11 your books, your thing, your uh, your coupons, of course, fast tracks because you gotta get those tolls and uh, whatever other randoms you have in there like car chargers or whatever. Hey, look at that, a USB-C, sick. I need that, cool, okay. So, way in here, in the deep dark lagoon of the, of this Audi. Back here, we got this little, they got this little trap door. All right, we got this. Anybody know what this thing is? Apparently they call this a compact disc player. I don't really know why new cars come with them. Also SD slots, not really sure why. Guess you can put like music in here? Look at this thing. Some sort of shiny disc, I don't know. I don't know, anyways. uh, Let's see if we gotta use a tool. No? Okay, so first, we take the door off. Then, you give her a squeeze. Somehow, we're gonna, we're not really gonna totally edit this. We're gonna see what we can do. Okay, okay. Pull down. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Hold on, we're gonna crank that ass up for you. We're gonna, we're gonna crank it. We're cranking the ass up. Cranking the eye, so okay. First, that little tab. Second, this little tab, maybe. Ah, all right. We got. Whoa, whoa, whoa! We got all that music. Justin Timberlake is in the house, apparently. Some of my wife stuff right there. Look at that. Would you look at it? Okay, let's pull that little tab off. Now, the moment of truth. What kind of freaking disgusting scum do we, oh. Oh. Ew. Ew. The pollination station. Okay, so that is what we're replacing. Right there, I'm gonna show you guys the difference between a freshie and newbie. Now, if you guys have never replaced one of these in your car, I would uh, highly recommend to replace it. But you know what? It's it's not the most disgusting thing ever. Now, if you, this car is only one year old, okay, guys? It's a year old, so you know it's one year. It's not that gross. However, it is it is not the cleanest thing in the world. It's kind of disgusting. Watch this. Oh, yeah. Dusty and gross, whereas this one is nice and fresh. So, you can feel the difference, literally. Feel this, oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay, so, basically that's what I'm getting at, guys. You should change your cabin air filter. Uh, it's a really easy thing, this is like 25 bucks, at least for this one, for the Audi. Uh, probably if you have a domestic car, it's gonna be a whole lot simpler and a whole lot cheaper, maybe like 10 to 15 bucks but they get gross, all right? If you've had it in your car for like freaking 10 years, which I know probably a lot of people are like, well, I've owned my car 10 years and I know I've never changed that. So that's something you're going to want to change. So 
It's real easy guys, it's really simple. Check it out, it's getting to be summertime. This is something we should be changing. We change our air filters, we think about our you know, engine performance, but are we really thinking about our air conditioning performance? This is an easy thing to check. Sometimes these get moldy, they get gross. I mean, they, they get freaking nasty. So, we'll go ahead and throw this one back in the car. Very simple task, I just kinda wanted to show you guys. Slide it right in there. Just like that, and you uh, put your little your little cover back on, right? This one, I just pressed it all back in there. It's kind of aligned it into its tabs. Makes it really easy to uh, to line up, which is cool. Um, you know, no big deal. But this is one of those things that you know we just neglect. So we throw this little cover back on here. Easy peasy, beautiful. It looks really good. All right. We could throw our crap back in here. Everybody has their crap. Let me know what kind of random things you guys found in your car. If uh, you know, if you got some random stuff like a like a little duster. We got the random sock monkey because if you don't have a sock monkey in your glove compartment, you're just you're just doing things wrong, obviously. And the OBD 11, not OBD 2, guys. OBD 11. Check last week's video if you guys are wondering about that. Oh. I was wondering where Bert's leech went, and now I found it, so happy, happy Bert leech walk. Pretty much wraps up today's video. It's just a quick little thing that I thought I would just kind of touch on. Um, pretty much, like I said, all new cars do have these cabin air filters, and it's something you want to get out of the car. Uh, if you're running your air conditioning, it's coming up on summertime. It's just like your house air filter. Don't know if you guys knew, houses have air filters. Remember that thing up there on top? Hey, you're supposed to change that like every month and if you don't it's disgusting so change that too while you're at it um you know it's just a good idea it's going to keep your air conditioning intact it's going to keep it running clean running good blowing hard and not stinking like something nasty so anyways guys we'll talk to you soon make sure to subscribe we're trying to get to a hundred thousand subscribers in this year well pretty much by december we're at 40k right now if you guys tell one of your friends that that almost doubles us in one day i know it's probably not gonna happen but it would be pretty cool so hit that subscribe button guys hit that notification button we'll talk to you soon later and wrench on